Hey guys, what's up? Today we got a holster from We The People to look at and just do a quick little overview. So let's get into it. All right, so first off, well, first off of first off, I've got a voice thing going on. I don't know, I got some hepazooty going on and it's about ready to make my brain explode. So pardon the voice and the sickness kind of thing going on if I sneeze and stuff, sorry about that. Um, secondly, We The People does send me stuff. They send me merch, you know, shirts and hoodies and stuff and holsters for content creation, all right? So if you think that skews my idea of things, by all means, have your own opinions. As always though, I tell people when they send me stuff, if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. It needs to stand on its own two feet before I'm gonna actually recommend it for people to use, all right? One thing I will say about We The People all right, that's the disclaimers out of the way. But one thing I will say personally about We The People holsters is I personally have bought them before and I still utilize them sometimes, right? So it is a current thing that I utilize, not all the time, but sometimes I use them of things that I've actually purchased with my own money. So keep keep that in mind and I'm not, I'm not trying to sell you stuff necessarily, but I'm trying to give information of products and things that are out there. Does that make sense? Hope that makes sense. I'm gonna leave it in there. That didn't come out right, but like I said, my voice is kind of crazy. My brain's kind of fuzzy right now. Anyway, so let's open this thing up. I know what this is, and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I didn't know, or I think I did know, but I don't know if I've ever gotten a holster from them that works with um, Olight lights. Another controversial subject there. But this is the, which one is this? This is the Olight Valkyrie Turbo uh, light compatible holster uh, for a Glock, right? So they have this new carbon fiber looking look to it. It's kind of neat, I don't know, I like it. I like the fact that they have a lot of different options, but that's what this guy is. So it's a light compatible inside the waistband holster. So let's get rid of this packaging here. That always comes with these bags. Hold on to these bags. I have literally brought in busted up suppressors to some different shops to get some work done on them. And uh, I feel like this is the crown royal bag, if you know what I'm talking about, um, of the gun industry, right? So if you have your gun parts in one of these bags, you're probably trying to get something fixed. But these are actually really handy, so hold on to these. Um, I do actually use those. So here's a pistol. This is a, I think it's Combat Armory. Um, yeah, Combat Armory. It's about a, about a 200, and, I think I paid $212 for it. Crazy price for basically a Glock. I'm doing a little bit of work on it. Um, changing out some sights and stuff, but this is basically a Glock 19. We have the Valkyrie Turbo, which is this guy right here. So the Turbo, um, as you can see, it's a very hot spot oriented light, and that's not even how you're supposed to say that, but I'm gonna stick with it. Does not have a lot of spill, so it has a lot of candela punches that light out there. So and it uses a little throw lever um, to attach everything. So we stick that guy on here. There's our pistol, right, with our light on it, and that should, if everything works right, yep, stick right in there. As you can see, this is actually kind of cool, it actually shows it. On the side here, you can see the little nub um, that has, that, that is where the uh, retention kind of comes from with that attachment that is on, it's pretty tight, the attachment that's on the, uh, the light itself. So it kind of indexes off that little throw lever um, that we talked about. That is actually kind of cool. That's a pretty big, um, not indention, but a pretty big section there for that to grab a hold of. So this is actually pretty, yeah, I might have to loosen that up. That's a pretty strong hold on there. Um, as you can see here on the light itself, you can see brand new holsters are gonna do this. It's gonna rub and you kind of gotta wear in your holster a little bit. We can go ahead and I don't have my screwdriver. Let me grab my screwdriver real quick and we'll adjust this. All right, I got my screwdriver. So this only has one, it would be nice if they had two, but this only has one little place right here where you can adjust the tension. Like I said, it would be nice. I wish they would have two, they'd just be a little bit more secure. But you can loosen this, this thing up, right? That's actually way looser than you probably would need it. Um, and get this guy to go in, right? And to tighten the adjustment, you just tighten this front part of the screw. I would recommend you make sure you hold on to the back side because if this starts spinning on you, then you're just spinning stuff and it's not gonna work. Once you get this set to how you like it, take some, I mean, you might wanna just go ahead and take the screw out and put some Loctite on it, put the screw back in and then tighten it. That'd be the best way to do it. Uh, but it is highly recommended, at least by me. I'm not sure if they do. Highly recommended um, that you use Loctite on these things because I have had tension screws come loose that's a pain in the butt. Also, once you get the ride height and the angle set, which you can change the angles on these clips here, 
once you get those set um, and you know where you want it, put some Loctite on those screws. Or what I'm trying to say is take the screws out, put Loctite on them, put them back in, and then make your adjustments. Because again, especially if you utilize holsters a lot, it's a lot of movement. I mean, in your waist, uh, waistline and everything, stuff moving around, um, stuff will, will work itself loose. And the worst thing in the world, the worst thing in the world is when you need your firearm, you go to pull your gun out and the whole holster and the whole thing comes out. You don't want that. Like if the screws came loose on your, on your uh, buckle here, you don't want that. So we haven't even adjusted anything on here, uh, but what you can do is go ahead and see how this guy looks. Stick this guy in here. And so this is basically a Glock 19. You can see waistline. This is basically a Glock 19, and I am wearing a hoodie, so it's kind of cheating, um, but it, I think it it conceals relatively well. For a fluffy, it's that time of year anyway. I mean, you could have stuff in your pockets. Nobody's really going to be looking at this general area. If you pull everything real tight, you can see the butt of that stick in there, right? You could fix that a little bit if you utilize one of their claw systems. It's a little claw. I think I have one somewhere. Um, yeah, here's, a, here's another We The People holster. Uh, they have a little claw that you can add, just like this we have right here. And what this little claw does is it pushes the butt of that pistol into your side a little bit more. Hides that part. Because that's actually the hardest part, believe it or not. Most people know that that have carried for a while. This portion right here is the Achilles heel of concealed carry. So if you add that claw, it's going to push the butt of that pistol, the heel of that pistol, in and can see it a little bit better. So anyway, that's a quick little look at this guy. I love the colors. They got a couple different versions of this new carbon fiber looking deal. Um, I actually like it. It's pretty neat. Um, honestly, the cool thing about them that I have said before, I'll say it again, I like the fact they have a lot of different options and colors out there because it's just a personalization thing. Nobody should ever really see your holster. It should be concealed, unless you're one of those guys that gets those flashy, flamboyant, outside the waistband holsters, which they offer those, if that's your flavor. It's not mine, um, but it is nice to have your own personal touch, as it were. So you get, it's not just all black, because sometimes you get tired of just all black holsters and all black guns. You can customize it to a bunch of different things. So that is the holster by We The People uh, for the Glock 19 and the Olight, what is it, the, P the Turbo, Valkyrie Turbo. Pretty cool, pretty interesting. Uh, they make a bunch of different designs, like I said. Um, and also, they make different ones that have optics cuts. This guy doesn't have an optic on it, so I didn't opt for the optic cut. So, all right, so there you go. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, you go right ahead and say the things you're gonna say. Um, I should have a discount code and a link to this down below if you are so inclined. That's it. You guys be good, you be safe. Appreciate you guys for watching and subscribing and everything. Thank you for We The People for sending this thing out and helping out the channel. I appreciate it. Hopefully we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.